What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I'm bringing you guys some really exciting news about Microsoft and uh, the Xbox One. Now for a long time the Microsoft Xbox One has been trailing in sales compared to the PS4 and it's been for a bevy of reasons. Uh, mainly the price, $499 versus the $399 price of the PS4. A lot of people didn't want the packed in connect. Microsoft has listened and they're evidently learning uh, from their mistakes and they have just announced a $399 Xbox One that comes without a Kinect. This will be available on June 9th. So we got a little bit of time left, uh, just a few weeks until this is available. This is fantastic news for us. This is great news for gamers uh, to be able to pick up an Xbox One that is within price parity of the PS4 so it it comes down now more to your true preference of what you really want what you really like versus a five hundred dollar differential that could sway you in either direction uh, four hundred dollars is not asking too much for a next generation or current gen console if you ask me now that you're able to pick it up without the connect I'm curious as to how they're going to change the user interface or if they change it at all uh, they, they may have just patched it and uh, released it without the Kinect capabilities, but I'm sure if you do buy a Kinect camera in the future, more than likely you'll be able to use it for your Xbox One. This is great news. Uh, they they want to get these Xbox Ones into more homes, and I think that dropping the price to $400 is definitely going to get it into more homes, mine included. I've been on the fence about buying an Xbox One. A lot of, a lot of you guys know that. But with it being a $400 version of the console, Connect List, I think that's much more appealing to me and probably much more appealing to the people out in the world who've been on the fence about buying the console. So I think this is a great move by Microsoft releasing this uh, without the Connect. At first, they wanted to release one without a disc, without a disc tray. I'm sorry. So a disc list Xbox One was speculated on and rumored upon uh, during the year. And it was heavily rumored on. Microsoft even made a comment on it that they wanted to, uh, you know, release a console without a disc tray. It appears they've thrown that out, and they they've done what the people have been asking for. Because I know lots of people, gamers, have been wanting an Xbox One without a Kinect. Now, how will this affect the people who are who just recently bought an Xbox One for five hundred dollars? Uh, it might make you a little upset, but think about it. There's going to be a lot more people on your Xbox Live service playing the Xbox One games because of this price drop so sometimes you gotta take it and uh, and keep rolling with the punches unfortunately a lot of people who bought Xbox Ones for full retail are gonna feel a little duped but as time progresses you'll get over it just like anything time heals all wounds I think this is great news for anybody who's looking to possibly buy an Xbox One now you got two systems that cost the same amount of money PS4 and the Xbox One let the, the competition begin. Let it rage on because PS4 has kind of outsold Microsoft by leaps and bounds at this point. I think that this could potentially be a catalyst that brings that, uh, that, that number into a smaller margin. So you guys let me know what you think about that. Are you interested in buying an Xbox One for $400 without a Kinect? I know a lot of people are. And uh, just give me your thoughts. Also, Microsoft did announce that uh, everything that's on the Xbox Live service as far as Netflix, HBO, all these uh, streaming services are going to be removed from the paywall so that means that you will be able to watch Netflix without having Xbox Live service up until now you had to pay your uh, you know Xbox Live premium in order to access any of these internet services so um, now you know just like the PlayStation they have announced that you're going to be able to watch all your streaming services whether or not you have Xbox Live or not they're learning Microsoft is definitely learning Sony is basically beating them into submission and letting them know hey look the way we're doing things is what people like people are obviously agreeing with it they're spending money they're enjoying the console they're enjoying the experience and if you want to tag along and, and, and enjoy some of the spoils here you're gonna to have to change your strategy and it's obvious that they're changing things and I'm really proud of Microsoft I'm going to go ahead and grab me an Xbox One very soon. $400 can't beat that. I'll join in with all my Xbox buddies and kick ass. You guys let me know what you think about this news. No more paywall. $400 Xbox One without a connect. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.